here's a bunch of smooth stone. I'm gonna pinch some of that. This is all community stuff that was just left over from building, building right? This. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I see that we've got almost a like a full chest worth of uh, spruce. Um, <laughs> I've so sold more. I'll be moved down here. Yeah, I've sold more spruce than I have every other kind of wood combined this year. <laughs> nice. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I know you people can find it. Maybe they just want to be generous. Yeah, maybe that's, and I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. So, do you think this would be something more fitting in the residential or like the shopping? I would say residential, because Buckbogok's near the heart of the people, and. Worst comes to worst, it can just be my residential base. Let's see. Hey, the baby zombie on me. <laughs> it just looked like you kicked him into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> well Pretty done, you. Did. Hello, we're back with Casually Ava Gamer. Hello, friend. How's it going? What's going on, Luke? It's going good. Well, I'm, I'm glad I have you here because you're like... You're like the the the, the main Bach Bagok dude on the server, am I right? Uh, the my, some would say prophet. That's not a word I would use necessarily, but yeah, I think so. I I've seen the way in the light, if that's what you mean. Oh, I I know what you mean. So I'm glad I could uh pull you out here for this because I need your help building something. What are we gonna build? So I need a chapel built on the server because. I'm getting married, bro. You're getting married? Who are, and who are you getting married to? I don't know if it's been spoiled yet. Okay, well, if we we don't want to spoil, but is it the, but it's a real life person, right? For a uh, real life Mi Minecraft person. Real life Minecraft person. Awesome, excellent. Uh, uh, the great Bok Bagok is all in favor of the loves. Oh yeah. So yeah, let's. Let's do it, chapel man. Yeah. I can dig it. We're gonna we're gonna build a chapel. So just to to uh, give a little reference point of where we are. So if we look in this direction, you can see town center is right there. There's dude plays lake. So we are just west of of town center. It's not too far away either. All we'll have to do is kind of build a path coming off of dude's bridge. I think he calls it the Zen Bridge, doesn't he? I think he does. That it's. And people, you should go check out Dude's channel because that whole build is pretty darn skippy. So, but yeah, I think he calls it a Zen Bridge. Awesome. So, we got a little bit of work ahead of us, chopping down trees, clearing a little bit of ground. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into that. All right, let's get to work. I think I might put some of this uh, clearing out into a like a montage type of deal. Fair enough. Hey, my. My uh, shovel has silk touch, so we're not losing all the pods old. Nice. Yeah, mine does too. It might actually break soon, though. I got, eh, like 500 durability left. But it also has them breaking three, so it'll last longer. Yeah, I've got, uh, well, I've got mending on mine, so I'm, <laughs> you probably do too, I'm guessing. But uh, Oh, I do. I've got it on everything. <laughs> I've, uh, in the last... Well, this week, as like I just hop on when I have an extra 15 minutes or so and start working on my base, uh, like I said, kind of shaping the mountain to be what I want it to be, I, uh, I've i had to repair my pick and my shovel like four times a piece. Yeah. So let's see. I think this is going to be enough room, or do we go one more? Um, well, uh, hmm. Cause I mean, it I, probably would be enough room, but do you think we should go one more just for good measure? Yeah, that, and it gives us a little more landscape to make pretty afterwards, so I think yeah. you're right. Okay. And I feel like the path made to get up to the chapel would be as shallow and kind of easy to traverse as possible. Yeah. Like nobody wants to nobody wants to have to fight to get to church. <laughs> right. 
Oh, we're gonna have to put in like escalators. <laughs> so, does this tree have to go, or is it fine? It might be fine. It might be fine. Um, we can take it out later if we need to. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe like like a a cobblestone uh, foundation. And like a little tiny entrance uh, air area where the door is at ground level. You walk in and it's a pretty small space, but a couple of steps in, you get stairs that go up to the main level of the church. Like it, they only go up one or two blocks, and then the uh, church sits up a little higher. Yeah, that could work in case it floods. Yeah, in case of flooding, or you know, uh, maybe doing a basement or something like that. Okay. But, uh, just a thought. Um, okay, and, so front door, like right around here, or further back, maybe, further uh, forward. Probably about the maybe the line you're standing on to start off with, or to try it. That way, there's some space to transition the path from being a path up to a path in. Yeah. So and uh -huh. then. Uh, Entrance here, and then it's like your doorway in, and then this kind of goes up to another set of double doors that takes you into the sanctuary, and then the sanctuary is all at this level. Got it. Okay. So this room right here is just going to be like a tiny little room. Yeah. Is it going to be like as wide as the actual chapel or I don't think like I think it would be more visually interesting if it was narrower. Like yeah. it was a, the smaller front part and like the, the chapel got kinda, bigger. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to rough in like a floor to uh See what we can do. Like, we can plan out, like, where pews are going to go, altar, that kind of. Yeah, plan things out. That's what we do, because we're experts. Well, with a... Usually I don't bother, but, like, with a, a chapel, they're usually very symmetrical and... Yeah. And organized very part particularly. Let's see, that goes three, four. Here... So let's start there and let's get a backdrop that'll make it easier. I mean, we can always make like this part like wider cuz like right now it doesn't even go like any wider than like the entrance way. That's true. That's very true. Uh so if we want to have like the the pews, is that what this is called? The pews be like a little bit wider. We could always do that. Yeah, we can do, uh, and then we can actually have a like a room on the outside to walk through as well, rather than having to go all to the wall. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, let's go. What? Two more out in every direction. Okay. Or two more out in out the sides. Yeah. Oh, that looks horrible. Yeah, front does look better with the slat, uh, spruce instead of the quartz, definitely. Yeah. Which is good. It's very good. Good, because now I don't have to use quartz. <laughs> <laughs> well, we would hate for you to have to use quartz. It would just be terrible. <laughs> And expensive. <laughs> Crazy expensive. I already had to use a lot on that Elytra shop. <laughs> well, that you'll make your money back on. Oh, I already have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
fifth grade. <laughs> uh, I love shops. <laughs> I actually bought some wood for me the other day. It's my first time having to buy it. <laughs> oh, you I had my, I had like those free samples, but other than that, I haven't really bought any. Yeah. But now I did, so. I'm I appreciate it. Be, be your customer. I just pulled seventeen diamonds out of there, which you know it's it's not elytra money, but it's doing pretty well, meaning I don't have to go resource gathering. Yes, it's a good feeling. Yeah. yeah, I do like it. Um, I'm going to have to do something to break up the stone a bit, but I like yeah. how the roof came out. Are we just going to go all spruce with, with the roof, or are we going to um, do some color variation on that as well? I think it would look better with color variation. I think so as well. Although you can't... With as much stone brick as we can, we can't really do stone, like a, like a stone trim. I don't think that'll work in this case, but. Yeah, probably not. But, uh, something else I bet. Or, hmm. What would look good with spruce? a hole through the front. Yup. That's good. That's what I do. I break holes in things. That's good. It's like my, it's like my thing. Um. Oh, let's see. Do we just want to do a ceiling of sea lanterns so it doesn't, so their presence isn't quite so jarring? Sure. These things will light up. Yeah, no, this is this is coming together pretty well, man. Yeah, I dig it. No, nice. oh, I'm sorry. Did I take your way down? Oh no, I can just jump down. <laughs> Surely you must have an elytra with which you can glide down. Yeah, I just don't have it on me. I'll just break my legs. What do you think about the bone blocks with the brick? Could be better. It's 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 like a very like hard transition. Yeah. So that can be changed. I don't know to what. I guess like we I, don't technically even need them there. Like, is I don't dislike the color, like with them. I just think you're right. Like the the very hard transition. Like the, the is... edges don't really like flow together very well. Yeah. No, they don't. Uh, but here's an idea. What do you think? Let's see. And the spruce door next to it. Hang on one second. I have some in the chest. Hmm. I mean, the colors match, and it makes it look like there's supposed to be a door there. Hmm. What about instead using the uh, the andesite instead of a log there? Uh, polished or unpolished? Uh, polished. So it looks okay. constructed. Just because we haven't work. used we, we haven't really used logs as a like as like wall supports or anything else anywhere else yeah 
Yeah, this will work. <laughs> this is tall. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> okay. Maybe she'll get the idea. Or do you think that it kind of needs two on each side? Like, in, in my head, two looks better. <laughs> okay. How much glass do you have left? Uh, chance? It's in the chest. Stained glass. What do you think about adding some windows in here? Windows are always good. Windows are always good. So God can watch you more easily. Well, I guess Bok Bagok in this case. Yeah. <laughs> Where does Bok Bagok live? Like, in the clouds or... Bok Bagok KFC? is... <laughs> uh, well, do you uh, want the... Uh, the like, Dude, I've got Bok Bagok cannon for days. Uh, <laughs> so... Let's hear it. <laughs> While you're talking, I... Uh, I... I move this uh this roof down a little bit and it looks better. Okay, let me uh come over and check it out. Oh yeah, much better. That looks much better, I think. Dig that. Cool. Oh, Jenna was already sleeping. Ta da I was gonna get in my bed. Oh you're gonna too. hop in bed too? <laughs> <laughs> it's a party. We slept together, but separately. All right, now we just got to do this for the other side. Okay, one big issue we might have. Um, this back wall is very, 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 very boring. Yep. Well, let's uh, get some windows in and go inside and see what would look good from the inside. Because you're right, it, it needs something. We could always put like a window right behind the religious symbol. It's true. Let's see. What do you think? Three high look good? Yeah. Alright. It looks real good. Oh, stare there. Curses. Oh, curses. Yeah, I said it. I said curses. Oh, hi. Oh, man. Help. Help. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm famous for not being helpful. Wait, what? That's okay. I'm famous um, for being a YouTuber. No, I'm not. I was just kidding. Yeah, I'm not really famous for it either. <laughs> I, cannot, okay, buddy? <laughs> I cannot parkour. I just, just bumped my head a little bit. I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> this roof is very difficult to traverse. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's a huge pain in the butt. Like, <laughs> now I understand why people just carry around a beacon so they can have jump to constantly. Okay. Ooh. 
Right. So these little side pocket things, well, the ones that I've done so far, they got their sea lanterns and they're good to go, kind of. Need some. You don't happen to have any dark oak stairs, do you? Uh, yeah, I do. Where are you? Do you need them? Uh, yeah, just drop them into the middle of the church. Drop you ten of them. Actually, do you need all of those? Actually, I need not stairs, but fence posts. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> do you need these back? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have fence posts, but I do have some wood if you want it. Oh, I got some. Or Yeah, I'll take the wood. Okay. Uh, else I can get it from the inner chest. Okay, I should have enough. Actually, actually, yeah, I have enough. So. Yeah, I know. Inside looking snazzy. Okay, so have we made a decision to cover this stuff up from the inside yet? Or are we leaving it? I I don't think leaving it so like so we can see the asymmetry of the outside. I don't think we should see that from the inside, not from the inside of the chapel. Which is, you know, kind of supposed to be orderly and Okay. Oh. So, if we, I mean, with with what we've got here, we could put in like a dark oak ceiling, so we're not matching the same color as the floor. Yes. Um, and then that would let us just add one layer to the ceiling. But it might have to go lower for that to look all right. Or stick out further, maybe? I Honestly, with as narrow as the room is, you wouldn't really see a difference between that and then having a fence post in between the two. Okay. So I think that would just be fine. Or we might not even have to use walls. Like, we could do, like, what a about, stair and a what slab. About, what about dangling the rod from the bottom of the cobble fence? Not awful. Yeah, that's not bad. Although mostly what? We want the roof lit up, I think. Yeah. So if we're dangling it from the bottom, it can go higher. So we're looking at... My pickaxe is getting dangerously low. <laughs> like it's so low. Ah, but you stick them... Even... Up here, if you stick them both out, you get this. Yeah. I know, that, that's why I put it lower down. Although, do it, have it cross this high, and then dangle one here, dangle one there. Might look pretty, might look pretty sharp, or sharper than what we've been working with. Yeah. Yeah, because having it stretched all the way across, it looks like almost like a support fixture. How's it look from down there? There's an Enderman going crazy. Yeah. Uh, I don't Better. hate it. <laughs> this is yeah. probably my favorite so far. Well, I have 12 white ones and 9 red ones. And you can't dye carpet. You only dye it when it's wool. See, I'll check if I have two more wool anywhere. It doesn't look like it. We'll just make do with what we got. <laughs> 
That's what a white carpet looks like. Is it just me or does that feel really bright? White? It feels pretty, pretty normal. I guess it is kind of bright, like looking at it. But not when I don't look at it. When I don't look at it, I don't even know it's there. <laughs> Looks great when I'm not looking at it. I mean, it's not bad, but did you happen to bring over your nine red? Yes. They're on the ground now. What happened, Luke? What? Oh. Hold on. So Koi's been talking to me, and I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I told you, Luke, there's lots of free lava around here. What happened, Luke? What happened, Luke? I'll just say, hi. <laughs> just say, you know what happened. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember what I even said dang it Koi about. Um, uh, we blamed Koi for, some, for something. something going wrong. All right, well, I like the red better. <sighs> I like the red better too. We're just missing one. <laughs> That's okay. I can get one from from our old base. Um, what do you think out here? The uh, it makes it look more interesting. I mean, look. do you think dark uh, for these spruce or dark oak? Uh, I like the spruce, but then again, I didn't see what the dark oak looked like. Yeah, I'll throw some dark oak in there. Um, actually, I like the dark oak better. All right, cats and kittens, we have behind us our build. Now, it came together fast for the way I build, but uh, I think we went a little, a little slow for Luke's taste. <laughs> but it ended up looking pretty darn cool. What do you think, Luke? I love it. All right. Well, why don't we take a look at it? Because I, I think Bok Bagok would be proud of, of his rustic folk coming here and just getting all getting their religion on. Oh, I really you, hope that's, so. That's, that's a that's a technical term, isn't it? Getting, getting their your religion, religion on. on. Yeah, I've heard it. Yeah. in the Bible. Yeah, oh yeah, that was that was like Filipinos first one chapter something. Yeah, yeah. Come through a little entryway, go in here. Got a big old holy symbol of Bok Bagok, and it's a nice little rustic church. I think it's going to be a nice little place for uh, Luke's impending nuptials. I can't wait to to whatever person that he says he's getting married to that he won't tell us the name of. Oh, she knows who. She, she, she knows. <laughs> she knows who she is. <laughs> if you liked the episode, make sure to show your support by hitting the like button and leave the friend zone. Join the fam. Want to know how? Subscribe to our chans and make sure to have a good night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is for you. Have a great one and we will catch you next time. Take it easy, folks. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that little fun collab we did with Luke. It was it was a lot of fun. Luke and I had never really gotten to build together before, and we put together a pretty good-looking little chapel in a short amount of time. You know, there, you can't get too crazy with a build that small, uh, especially when you're just kind of going for a rustic chapel. But uh, it turned out really well. I, I like it a lot. And, and Luke's always fun to hang out with. Luke is a really good guy. So, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Minecraft on the iCraft server. I hope you guys had fun. If you did, like Luke said, click that like button, click that subscribe button. I want you guys to have a great week. We'll talk to you later.